Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Doboot Sentai Juoja review for you today. This is 8th in the Sentai Hero series, Juo Whale. Uh, I really am a huge fan of his design. He has kind of a coat as opposed to the way the other Juojas just kind of have the kind of spandex jumpsuit. He's got kind of a coat with tails here on the back, which I think looks pretty neat. Um, I love the way that the whale starts on his chest and then kind of cascades down the one side of his leg there. Really neat design. Now, the same design is here on the back. It's kind of hard to see, but it is molded in. And then it's just not painted, as you can see. So that's kind of cool. Now he's got the same white uh, boots and gloves with the black trim like all the other Juogers. Of course he does have the whale changer or whale change gun molded onto his uh, left arm. Which you cannot move or take off or anything like that. Let's see if I can get in here and see this. But it does have some nice molding on the side. It's not painted. But you can see the whale is molded into the side there. Which is pretty neat. The top is painted gold, which I appreciate. Whale is on both sides, so also molded in there. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty neat and nice detail. Uh, taking a look at the helmet, I love the helmet design. You have the kind of two bluish silver eyes painted here. And then this white here is again the underbelly of the whale, which you see right there. Starting here and then coming down for the faceplate. Really neat design. Really a big fan of Juo Whale's design. I think it's very cool. Uh, the way uh, Yamato has kind of three distinct forms. Um, with, and he's kind of got the land, sea, and air all covered between his three forms, which I think is pretty neat. Uh, standard articulation for a Sentai Hero uh, vinyl doll. Arms can move around. Now you can get the arms around. It's a little tight because of the vest um, kind of shoulder pads here, but they can spin all around. And then you have waist movement there. Head does not move, feet do not move, uh, but he stands well. Sometimes, you know, the feet are a little wonky, but if you uh, use some, like, hot... You could use a hair dryer to loosen them up or put them in some boiling water, uh, and it would loosen them up and then kind of put them in a uh, pose that you like and then, you know, hold it or put some cool water to cool it down, something like that. Um, but luckily, mine's standing fairly well. Also has nice detail here molded onto the belt buckle. Let me get in close. So that's pretty cool. The vinyl dolls are nice. They're somewhere in the area of like six to 800 yen, depending on where you pick them up. But they definitely have a nice bit of paint and detail molded in. So I like them. I'm not sure if we're going to get this series in America. Obviously, if we get full detailed action figures, I will get them. But I kind of like to pick up the vinyl dolls just in case we don't because I don't really have any representations of Tokyuger for that same reason I was waiting for the American action figures which never came uh, real quick here's the tag he comes with not really much just a way to scan the barcode but a decent little tag nonetheless so let me know what you guys think in the comments below please like and share this video please subscribe if you haven't already I hope you've enjoyed this look at uh, Sentai Hero series number eight Juo Whale from Dobut Sentai Juoger. And thanks so much for watching.